Mary's Taurus to your July 6th through the 11th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Best messages coming out. We do have the conflict in reverse with vast universe. So very nice. Uh, this is saying, yeah, yay, right? Yay. The conflict is starting to relieve itself. You can actually now have a breath of fresh air, <laughs> right? Because this card in reverse really is talking about finally settling down to calmer waters. Things are finally taking the turn, naturally shifting the situations of people's attitudes. Um, it could be the responses of your own inner energy. Just however it is, there's a peaceful self-empowerment going on as well, right? Um, just whatever has been going on to, with you, you can feel now that things are starting to calm down. Um, and then it says, you've got the vast universe over here. This is saying that the sun is coming out, right? The sun is shining. Things are spinning in your, in your favor now. Things are starting to look happier, better for you. And that things are really coming together for you to open up new doors. That things are not just, you know just gloom and doom, right? So now you've arrived at the time when your whole world is about to open up, right? Because after the storm comes the sun. So you're going to notice that this energy around you is just going to start shifting and changing all around you. And things are going to start feeling lighter and brighter. So let's get in here and see what's going on within the situation. As everything's starting to settle down now. We have the honoring the path. Nice. So starting to honor the path, feeling like you're on the right path, feeling like everything's coming back to normal, not feeling lost, right? Understanding the higher self, what's working for you. Understanding that there's some kind of meaning that's going on behind this situation. What is opening up, right? If you had some something a tower moment and something horrible happened. It's almost like your higher self is saying, okay, get ready for this new door to open up. Get ready to honor this path because things are turning for you, right? And things are turning in your favor. You can get now to the place to where you can really feel like you're planning the action that's necessary. Things, like I said, are opening up for you to take that turn. Where things were decreasing, you're now seeing an increase because anytime we have the decrease card in reverse, it's saying that there is an where things were decreasing, you're going to see this beautiful turnaround into starting to see that increase, whether that's that increase in just energy, that increase in, you know, me finding the jobs, the increase in potentials. When you have the vast universe, you're going to say, hey, you know what? I can actually start seeing things coming in for me, right? So let's see what's going on here. You notice that if you had people around you who were not supporting you, you will start noticing that you will meet new people who can support you. Or maybe they're having change in attitude and they now want to spend time with you and support you, right? Um, maybe they have been against your ideas and your plans and now you're going to see that they're increasingly starting to change things around to want to be on your side. It's almost like they've taken a new, a new perspective of what's going on. As things are going in your favor. Honoring the path says because there was some kind of disappointment, some kind of pessimism, some kind of loss or grief that is now turning around so that you can feel like you're on that path, feeling like you know where I can go, what I can do, right? There's intention behind this situation. I mean, that's an intention card. So the intention card says, hey, pay attention to what's going on around you, right? There are so many different things that are opening up for you be surprised right so this is where you feel like there's a more personal level this shift there's that attitude shift again honoring thyself right and choose to increase the intention of self-respect in your thoughts and behaviors just acknowledging yourself and there's your higher self next to it so acknowledging that higher self acknowledging that you're back on track with the higher self it's yeah because there was some withdrawal some withdrawal from yourself, withdrawal from 
the understandings of maybe you were feeling like, why is this happening to me instead of for me? But now Spirit is saying it's happening for you for a reason. So I can get you to where you need to be planning the action with manifestation. So definitely having that clarity and understanding, starting to see that, that magic come through for you, starting to feel that things are, you know, definitely opening up, right? And feeling like I can finally do what it is I need to do um, and really feeling you put your best foot forward where you had the decrease, you have the wheel of fortune. Wow. So with the wheel of fortune over here, it's saying yes, because now that cycle has changed. So there's a huge cycle change that's now working in your good luck and in your favor. There was a lot of ups and downs. It says that there could be a little bit of ups and downs as this wheel is still moving. But on the positive note, it's definitely going to be more of a positive change. But just remember, there's still, you know, even though the conflict is decreasing, right, right, and it's getting better, it's also opening up for your better understanding and recognizing the things that are around you. So you may learn some kind of news worth celebrating something or having some kind of heartfelt uh, conversation with somebody, um, right, or just receiving a creative you know, inspiration, like a wave of just creativity coming from yourself, right? And you're just like, wow, okay. Because, you know, maybe a lot of it was for some of you. I know a lot of you are very creative people. Um, maybe it's just a creative blockage that has been really, you know, devastating for you. So no more time for just tunnel vision. Now it's time to really funnel through the situation, right? Really grasp it grab onto it and start planning and making those actions happen for you. So it feels like this week is going to be very productive for you. Um, and you're going to notice that if you're doing any kinds of new projects or bringing new projects in, right, that they're going to be different. It feels like it's different. Like you're, you're putting your best foot forward. You're, you're changing the scenes around you. You're changing things around you. Maybe you're going back to the drawing board um, and re, you know, redoing everything when it comes to whatever you're, you know, you're looking at. And so, and if it's a relationship, then you're going to find that the two of you are really finding new inspirations in healthy places. There's the health here on the judgment. So it can be healthier decisions, healthier ways of talking to each other, uh, things that are just kind of moving together. We do have that new moon in Cancer, um, you know. So it's like the new moon in Cancer saying, well, you know, you have, this is where we're going right? This is how we're going this way, right? And that's about, you know, bringing in that fresh new start to your home, to your relationships. Um, so, you know, you might be, you know, reconsidering on how you guys are, you know, uh, like I said, talking, interacting. How about that? Just interacting with each other if it comes to, a, you know, a personal relationship. Okay. So let's grab an overall card over here. Very beautiful way to start this week. This message coming out. Getting on healthier terms. Develop awe and reverence for life. Nice. So very beautiful from spirit. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.